Well, well, well. Hey guys, and welcome back to what I personally believe is the final Newcastle United shirt printing vlog of the summer transfer window. I think transfer wise, they may sneak a loan signing in there if they wanted to get a centre half in. But honestly, I think we are done after this one. And what a final signing this would be. Lewis Hawley, 18 year old Chelsea left back that the club did not want to sell. A Newcastle United fan who, from what I've seen in the media anyway, seems to be forcing the move out to Chelsea for us. What a perfect window has been. You spent, what, £170 million and four players. Yakuba, Mintas, and people will say I forgot about him in my previous video. But I don't class him as a first team saying. I class the four we got in now as actual first team as players that are going to play this season. But I'm here to go inside that club shop where we are going to get his shirt printing vlog done. Now, it's been reported by some media that a deal has been a great like to telegraph came out and said so. For Bichu Romano, that's a big one that people like listening to. He's actually said that the deal is imminent. He thinks the deal is happening. So I think now, yes, it might be a little early because I'm going down to Manchester tomorrow. I thought I'm going to get it done now. I'm convinced he will join Newcastle. I'd be shocked if it wasn't to happen. What's my face? Please leave me alone. If you're on the around here, make sure I get down there, hit that subscribe button. Overnight stay of vlog at Manchester City will be out tomorrow. The first of the Premier League season as we take on the champions. Champions of Europe as well and Super Cup winners from last night. So I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to get down there. We're also going to talk about the brand new away ticket structure for the match because season ticket holders are now at risk of losing their season tickets if somebody else is using their loyalty points for away match. So we're going to talk about that in this video. Without further ado, let's get inside the club shop first. We'll get through that part of this video and afterwards we're going to talk about the brand new away ticket structure which has got a, a mixed reaction from fans on social media. One who just warning signs for. <laughs> to be fair, I can't believe 100 people came and I got Tonali 20. As you can see behind me, guys, we are now upstairs in Newcastle United's club shop where it's more or less closing time. I've decided to come in last minute. I'm going to get this shirt printed and done now. Due to the fact that A, tomorrow I'm going across Manchester, there will be the overnight stay vlog on the channel tomorrow. I've actually got quite a lot planned for this vlog, so it's going to be a long day. I don't have realistically enough time to come on here and get an actual proper video done i also think this deal is going to happen i'm absolutely certain this deal is going to happen i think due to the fact that kieran turney he was a target at first all of a sudden timber gets injured for arsa first game of the season that one goes into jeopardy we then had kucherella from chelsea a player that i think is okay had a bad time last season but honestly was a good player for brighton and we have lewis hall himself the castinated fan just remember, as I mentioned there, he is a Newcastle fan, a player clearly wants to join us. Chelsea are in a bit of a, a situation where they've got a player that doesn't want to be there. They, they've got to get rid of him. It's that simple. They've got to get rid of him. Newcastle, it's been reported in the media they won't pay around £30 million in cash. It's going to happen. I'm actually saying it's going to happen. So I'm here today to get the share printing done. As for the stock behind me, as always, it's actually been replenished since I've last been in here. All the home shirts and green shirts are now back in. There's plenty in stock, so there's no shirt issues whatsoever the blue ones haven't came in yet the pro shirts for the green have came in but it's only large and 4xl for some reason i mean what two random sizes for that as for the actual shirt printing numbers and lettering it seems to be a lot better as well i think it has been replenished i'm not entirely sure by the time you watch this if any of the letters will become unavailable but it's much better than it was last week and i think the majority are supposed to be in don't quote me on it but it is looking good so I'm going to go around there now. I'm going to get Lewis Hall on the back of the shirt. But what number am I going to pick? You would have already seen it in the thumbnail by now. But I'm going to go around the corner regardless. You're going to see it live. What number do I pick? And I'm going to come back afterwards and tell you my reason behind it. Is it 12? Yeah, yeah. As you just saw before, we decided to get number 12. Why have I selected Lewis Hall number 12? Well, I had to start off by saying in this vlog, 
This is easily the hardest shirt printing vlog I've ever done. Now the problem with Lewis Hall being is that in his last two seasons at Chelsea, he's been a 67. And couldn't you believe it? Newcastle's only registered player above number 39 is Lewis with 67. What are the chances? I can't believe that is. They must have done us in purpose to wind me up. I mean, how, how is 67 dirt? You know, I just can't believe it. it's the only number above 39 as well. So no matter what, he has to be a different number. What number could he be? Well, honestly, I think there's probably a good 20, 30 numbers he could be. And that's the main problem straight away now. For me, my honest prediction was, I think you'd be a higher number. I think due to the fact that this player is, in my opinion, anyway, the next big thing. I think he honestly is here to be our future left back. Straight away, big marquee signing. Get a good number on him. I think 12 or 16. Those are the two I've been for in the back of my mind. One of the old numbers you can be is 20. I, I can imagine it'd be 20 after I've got it wrong twice. It'd be typical, wouldn't it? You can't be 21 because the mental is 21. And then it's just a bunch of random numbers after. But 12 or 16 would be my honest prediction. I went with 12. That would to be Jamal Lewis's number. He's in loan at Watford. This season, I think you're leaving the summer. That number's all free now. So I think, realistically, you're probably looking at that number. 12, 16. I think it would be one of those two. If it's not one of those two, then so be it. I think I'm knackered regardless. But easily, without a doubt, the hardest one I've ever done. There we have it, I am wearing the first ever Lewis Hall 12 top at Newcastle. I'm hoping the God is not the last one. If I get this number wrong, I'm not going to hear at the end of it. So I'm hoping we've got this one correct. But easily, without a doubt, it is the hardest one I've ever done. I've just left the club shop before. Quite literally last person in there. I've just left now and it's a good opportunity for me. When I'm up next at St James's Park to talk about that behind me, Newcastle United's turnstile is at the away matches. Now the rain matches were completely different to the home games and over the summer Newcastle fans have been complaining to the club saying it's a closed door. It's the same individuals that are going to every single away match and not only that, fans are passing tickets on the hours. Now people are classing this not as touting, but it definitely is touting. It's fans who sell tickets, yes it's at the same value as what they bought for, but the reason why they're doing that is so someone else can go to the game instead of the loyalty points dropping that shoe to that individual. So pretty much the system itself, people are kind of jumping the queue and that's what people are upset by. So the club now is claimed to be very strict for Manchester City game onwards. So the club has actually outright said that some of the tickets going to your away matches were intentionally not work on purpose. Some of the tickets when you go to the turnstile will be rejected. And the reason why they're going to do that is because they're going to pick people out of random and they're going to ID check them. So they'll take those individuals that tickets don't work they take them to the away box office, straight up they'll question you. Who are you? Where's your ID? You have to show them proof that that's your ticket. And for example, you might go, well, a pair of tickets hasn't got your name on it, hasn't got your number, it hasn't got anything on it. So they'll actually scan that ticket and they'll make sure you own that ticket or you, someone from your travel group owns that ticket. Very strict. I don't know if they're actually going to do it. I don't know if it's a scare tactic. I don't know how it's going to work. But it's going to be interesting to see how things work. I mean, for me, um, I saw Manchester City, I think it's sort out in around 10 loyalty points, 10 to 20 loyalty points or something. Brighton has went down to 60 a day and it still has a good 1,600 left or something. So the tickets are definitely dropping higher than what they were last season. So there's plant the club's put in. It's clearly dropping higher, so fans have got a chance to get them. There's also a ballot system in place now. So some Newcastle fans that are seeking ticket holders, regardless if you've got one loyalty point, 10 loyalty points, whatever it may be, you actually have a chance of going to games. There's a small ballot, it'd be 200, 300 tickets per match or so. You get an opportunity to actually attend the rare match. And as expected, as I always mention in these videos, there's always subjective, there's always people have different opinions. But honestly, I'm going to see how this works on Saturday. I'm going to talk about a lot more in detail on Saturday when we physically see it first time. What will the club do? Will the security actually do what the club said that they on social media? It's going to be interesting to look at. But for me, I just want to address it anyway. What are your guys' opinions on this? For me, I actually had a digital ticket for Manchester City game. Yeah, I got it about two hours ago. I've got it just over two days before kickoff for a digital ticket as well. I mean, a bit late, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think for a digital ticket, honestly, you should be getting it at least a week in advance now. It's just me nitpicking now because I have got it in the end. But let's see, I don't know. Manchester City system goes down two days before or something goes wrong. Technology sometimes fails, it's inevitable. So I think to get the ticket that late is not ideal. But again, that's just me being, a, I guess, a grandpa and just moaning about anything. But I, that's the main topic I want to talk about in regards to the ticketing system. 
Uh, fans have definitely been quite to jump to the walls. It just depends what kind of fan you are. If you've got loads of light pants, for example, let's say you are someone has used your mate at the past to go to games. I can imagine a good 90% of the fan base has used their mates at times to get away tickets. That's not like all people are definitely, when they had the opportunity to get a spare ticket, they've took that opportunity. So now the club is making sure that isn't an option anymore. They want the ticket to be fair, they want to be valid. And under the ticketing laws, they want to make sure that every ticket has been bought by the club not bought by someone and then sought for the same amount of money for someone else so they could go to the game and then that individual gets a loyalty point. They don't want to do it anymore. They want to make sure the loyalty points are being redeemed fairly. The only problem being is that, well, the loyalty point system has been around forever and it's the same individuals that 10 years ago obviously got all those points now. They will still have those points so they can go to whatever game they want. It's not really penalising anyone that's done it in the past. So for me, yeah, we've got to go kind of full force for it or not do it at all. And the club's kind of in between the two. I always feel like... For but listen, I don't mind. I'm going to be going to games regardless. Worst case scenario, let's say I wasn't unable to get a ticket to a game like Luton Tower, would be straight in the hospitality anyway. So I'm going to be going to the matches regardless. But I just want to kind of update you anyway about the new ticketing system because it's going to be a big change for away fans. And it gives you guys as well, the ones that haven't been in the matches, regardless of whether people think it's fair or not, it give people that don't go to the games the opportunity to now go to those games. So we'll see how it goes. But I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I'm going down to Manchester City tomorrow. And for the first time ever, I'm actually going to City away with my mindset forced to go there and try and win the match. I think Newcastle can go there and get a result. Never in my wildest dreams will I be saying that about City away. But I generally think now we are in that situation. They've just played last night in Greece. They've won the suit of court. That high climate it's hot over there it's not ideal for them midweek you just won the super cup now Newcastle we can cause an upset on Saturday we can go to City away we can stand toe to toe and I think finally after all these years of losing time and time and time again we can go to City away and we can still get those three points I can't wait for it tomorrow on the channel but thank you guys for watching anyway let me know your thoughts down below it's been great to talk about the shirt print and vlog it's been great to talk about you cast this new away ticketing process. Let me know your thoughts on it all down below, and I will see you all in the next one.